The NFL Draft is in just a few days, so for one final time, let's take a look at some of the latest mock drafts from around the web. We'll start with Eric Edholm from NFL.com. He has the Chiefs taking Georgia wide receiver Lad McConkey to wrap up round one. McConkey stands at 5'11", 186 pounds. He caught 30 passes for 478 yards and two scores in nine games last season while dealing with some injuries, but the year prior, he caught 58 passes for 762 yards and seven touchdowns. He has good speed. He ran a 4-3-9 at the Combine, and he's considered one of the best route runners in this year's class with elite shiftiness. He's also versatile in terms of where he can line up. He has experience lining up both outside and in the slot, so McConkey could make some sense. Next, how about Dane Brugler from The Athletic? He has the Chiefs taking Texas wide receiver Adonai Mitchell in round one. Mitchell had 55 catches for 845 yards and a Big 12 most 11 touchdowns last year. He's a fluid athlete with a great combination of size and speed. He's six foot two, 205 pounds, and he ran a 4-3-4 at the combine. And get this, 81.8% of his receptions last season resulted in either a first down or a touchdown, the best rate of any receiver in this year's class. He's also sure-handed, just one drop last season on 86 targets. We'll wrap up with Pete Prisco from CBS Sports. He has the Chiefs going defense in round one, taking Clemson corner Nate Wiggins. Wiggins has elite speed. He ran a 4-2-8 at the combine, the second best time of any player there behind only Xavier Worthy. He was productive during his time at Clemson. He had 25 passes defensed in his last 23 games, and he allowed completions on just 43.9% of targets last season, including only one completion of 20 or more yards on 41 targets. He was also rarely flagged, just one penalty for pass interference in 2023. So those are three names to know. Not sure what direction the Chiefs are going to go. They're going to have plenty of options, but one thing is certain, we're leaving speculation season, and we're going to do this thing for real in just a few days.